Hey guys, it's Chloe. So, I'm able to finally do another video. Um, my memory on my computer is still messed up. I have to delete things um, that I don't want anymore. Um, it's just I don't know. What I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do once I have something I don't want to delete anymore. Um, it's very frustrating. So yeah. Um, let's see. I have so much to update on. I haven't even been doing Savannah's monthly updates, which is horrible. She is nine months. Um, she turned nine months on the 22nd. So yes. Um, I want to say happy. Sorry for that. It's so annoying. Um, first of all, it's been over a year now since I first did my first video here on YouTube. My first video was July 23rd, 2010. So, um, that's pretty exciting. Um, can't believe it's been a year. I've been kind of sad lately a little bit, you know, going through, because I'm, you know, having to go through all my old things on my computer and, um, all my old Savannah's old uh, baby pictures. It's like really sinking into me that she's going to be one soon. And she's nine months old already. And it, it's just so sad. Like last year this time I was around six months pregnant. Um, so much is different. I love her to death and I don't, I don't wish, I mean, I don't wish I was pregnant. It's just, it's just going by too fast. Um, I love her as she is bigger, but it's kind of like sad looking back at her little tiny baby pictures because, you know, I think she's going to be my last baby. Um, there's so much I have to update guys on, good God. So, she's doing so much. I don't know if this should be a Savannah update or a life update. Um, it'll probably be a little bit of everything. I had to delete something to, just to record this video on here, so I have to make it worthwhile. Um... So yeah, sorry that my hair is like in pigtails, but I just, um, my hair is always messed up in the videos, and this is okay, guys. It's still late and whatever, but whatever. So, a lot has been going on, um, my husband's doing good at work, um, but he has to take Fridays off for a couple of weeks now. Well, hopefully this is the last week, um, he'll have to take a Friday off. Last week he had to, and now this Friday he has to. Um, oh yeah, Savannah turns 40 weeks old today <laughs> at 10.42 a.m. So that's kind of exciting. Can't believe she's already 40 weeks old. She's older. She's been out longer than she's been inside of me. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, he, he's, so yeah, they have, he has to take off because they're laying cement, um, so that he can't work when they're doing that. So every Friday they do that. So, but this is probably going to be the last Friday. Plus, they're having another project too, so hopefully if, if uh, he can't work at that job site on Friday, he'll have this new project he can work on Friday where he don't lose a day. So yeah, and it's going to be two tight paychecks, a whole day missed, and plus this week was a lot of days missed. Um, he actually had to get um, off early for my doctor's appointment, and then he had a, a doctor's appointment himself, which is out of town, so he had to take off a whole day for that. Um, so yeah, let's see. So we went to the fair, and, um, it was really fun. Um, we went kind of late. Um, it was kids' day, so I, you know, it wasn't, it was during the week, so we went kind of late, because my husband got off work and all that, and we had to eat dinner, because I didn't want to have to, you know, eat dinner at the fair, it's expensive. So it was kids' day, we got in free, we got around... We didn't have to pay the parking because someone told us a trick. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the kids got free. Um, it was dollar rides, so that's really cool. And I actually, um, some kids offered to sell their tickets to me because they were leaving. Um, but then some lady ran up to me because I was about to buy uh, 12 tickets for $7. And that's uh, 12 rides. But since both kids go on it, you know, that's six rides or whatever. Um, but little boy said, um, he'll sell 12 tickets to me for $7, but then a lady came up saying, I'll sell you 20 for 10. I'm like, okay, well, I was trying to, um, first buy the boys, but then he had no change for 20. So I went and I bought, um, the ladies, because she had change for 20. 
So that's like pointless, but yeah, there was a psychic there. Um, don't know if it was real or whatever, but it was $10 for a hand reading, and I had to do it. Um, I had to do it. So I told my husband, I'm going to do it, so I paid, and I went in there, and at first it was like, I don't know, like, it was weird because she asked for my name and my age and my sign, and, but there was a point where she said I was 22, which I'm 23, so, but she said that, that um, school is very important to me right now in my life, and I'm not in school, my kids' school is very important to me, and she did say that. Um, but she also said that I wasn't married, or she says, you you will be married someday, which I don't wear my wedding rings, because they're too big, but they are right here, I'll show you guys. So. Sorry, I'm trying to, so the engagement one is on top, and then the wedding's on bottom. But I'll show you. I was, I'm only able to wear these rings when I'm pregnant, so. They're too big. They fall off me. See? Yeah. So, you know, these were very expensive wedding rings, and I do not want to lose them, so I just don't wear them. I have to be on size. But, um, so yeah, she's like, you're going to get married someday. Um, and she's the man that I'm with is not the love of my life. And I'm like, well, I already am married, and I've been with him since I'm um, 14. And she's like, okay, but he's not the man for you. But she kind of did know a lot of things, which she wasn't 100% on her game, but she was about, I don't know, 75, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe less. Um... She says that he's not the man for me. He treats me like a child. She says that, um, which, you know, I don't know. I guess he has moments, you know, like, yeah, I'm, like, a lot younger than him, so, yeah. But, um, she was saying that he doesn't show me, he doesn't show, he doesn't express his love to me, like, how he should. And I'm not in love with him. And she kept saying, oh, it's an old relationship. Just because, and she's like, you, you know, see, so you met him when you were a baby. But then I told her, you know, I was 14, so I kind of gave that to her. And she's like, yeah, you were just a baby. You don't know what love is. And I'm like, you know, also thinking, like, screw that. I know what love is. Just because I was young doesn't mean I don't know. I know I love my husband. Um, yes, it's an old relationship, but if I get with someone new, that relationship will turn old someday. But anyway, she went um, on to say that in these next two years are going to be um, very life-changing, that I'm going to leave him in two years, and that it will be my decision, and he will be very sad, and um, I will leave him, and then I'll get a career. She said I'll go back to school. See, then, I didn't even mention that I'm not in school to her. In the beginning, she says school is very important to me, but this was in the very, very beginning. And she says that she sees that people take advantage of me and all that stuff, and I don't use my beauty to get anywhere in life. And I'm like, well... You know, I don't have the highest confidence anyway, so why would I try to use, you know, my beauty? So, yeah, um, so, yeah, she knew that people take advantage of me, which that is going on right now. She told me that I need to stop worrying about everybody else because they will be fine, and it is stressing me out too much, and, and I need to take care of myself and my family, um, which is totally true. That is dead on true. I always worry about other people, and, um. Yeah. So, anyways, back to uh, the school thing. Um, in the beginning, she says I was very uh, school is very important to me right now. Um, but in the, when she was saying that in the beginning, I'm like thinking, oh, she's just going off my age, you know. But I didn't tell her. I wasn't. I did not correct her on that one. Um, but she went on to say, um, as we were getting more into it, she was saying that um, in two years I'm gonna go back to school. So. It's like maybe she got her powers, you know, more. You know how I heard that psychics, you know, once they warm up, you know, things come to them. I don't know if that's true or not. But, um, yeah, she says that in uh, two years I'll um, start a career and I'll start my life and I'm going to get sick of how my husband treats me and I'm going to get sick of how he doesn't show his love to me how he should and I'm going to want love. Um, she says, I, I will always love him and stuff, but I'm not in love with him, which, you know, recently, I guess, I don't know. It's just, you know, 
is we have three kids. You know, he goes to work. He's tired a lot. I'm tired a lot. I'm in pain a lot. So it's just rough, you know. But she did say, when I'm 27, 28, I'm going to meet somebody else and I'm going to get married. And that guy is going to be very passionate and he's going to be the love of my life. And I'm thinking, wow, that's, that, that's pretty crazy. I cannot picture my life without my husband. And it made me kind of sad. Like, I got kind of sad. Like, when I left there, I'm like, wow, I got very emotional. And, um, let's see what else did she say? I asked if I'm having more kids. She said no. She said no. That I'm done. And I asked if my husband's going to have any more kids. Because she said that he's going to get married, too, way later after I get married later on. So that that's weird. Um, but so yeah, I guess I'm not going to me or him are not going to have no more kids. And she says that my new husband will be understanding of my kids and treat them like his own because he will have a similar situation and he'll have a kid or two of his own. Um, so he'll understand. So yeah, that was very interesting. Um, and I asked, she said I could ask her questions and I asked how long, oh, she said I'm going to die of old age which is hard to believe. I don't know. Um, I just think I'm going to, I don't know, I think I'm going to die young for some reason. I don't know why. Hopefully not. But she says, I'm going to die of old age. And I, she said I could ask her questions. So I asked her a few questions. I asked her um, if my mom is going to die soon because um, my mom is pretty sick. And she said, um, no, she's going to die. She asked how old my mom was first. And she said, my mom's going to um, die of old age too. She's going to live long. So, and then um, I asked if my brother's going to have any, I asked her if my brother's going to have any kids, and she says no, but he'll find love, but my brother's already married, so I don't know what that means. And I also asked if he, if she could, uh, she knew the gender of my husband's brother's baby, because they didn't find out the gender. She might have had the baby already, I don't know, my husband hasn't called home in like a long time, but she says she couldn't tell, so she says she could tell what my kids' genders are. And then, I totally forgot to ask her, I want, I kicked myself now because I should have asked what the gender of my miscarriage baby was. This light, this light behind me is really freaked out. Let me turn this light off. Okay, I apologize for the lighting, but I don't want someone waking up. And that light is um, our wake up light. Because um, this room don't get no light in it um, during the day. So I always have to turn that light on. And that's like, we're waking up, getting ready to do stuff light. So, sorry about my voice. So I don't want her to get confused and thinking it's time to get up. Um, and this light by right here, it's just too bright. So I apologize that you can't see me, but um, yeah. So that was very interesting. Um, I'm sure I'm missing things. I don't know what to take from it. I don't know. Um, I want to get a second opinion. That might sound crazy, but there's this. We know of this place that is close to my husband's work. And it's ten dollars, I believe, and uh, is a psychic reading. So I know that sounds crazy, but I kind of want to know if it's true. Um, I don't know. My husband doesn't believe that we're not having no more kids. He's like, "How could you tell that? We can go home and have unprotected sex and make a baby." And it's that simple. I'm like, "I know, but we're not gonna." So you know. Um, so yeah, but I really hope it's not true. She says I'm never going to struggle again, though. Uh, whatever that means. Um, I'm gonna, Life's going to be good, I guess. And she says my husband's not going to be happy with his new wife. Oh, and that we're going to have 50-50 share custody of the kids once we divorce. And um, I asked her if he's going to go back to Switzerland once we divorce. She's like, oh yeah. She's but not right away because of the kids. But eventually he'll go back. So it makes me kind of sad. I don't I don't know, I love him, and I don't, I don't want to break up with him, and she said it's going to be all on me, I'm going to leave him, I don't know, 
maybe she's not psychic, maybe, oh, but then she, um, when I asked about my mom, she's like, oh, your mom has had a hard life, like, she knew that my dad beat my mom and stuff, and stuff, which I do not understand how she knew that, that is just crazy, why is my phone on, but anyways, um, so yeah, the fair was fun, but it was short, we got there kind of late, I want to go back so badly, but it's going to be so expensive. The fair ends on the 31st. I want to go today, um, but I'm going to bed late as it is. Um, but I, if I go today, I at least want to get there like around 5. Um, and I don't know. I'm debating if I should take the kids or not. I Usually, usually, like last year I think we went three times. Um, two, with, two times with the kids and one with just me and my husband. Obviously, this year, we're going to at least have to take Savannah if me and my husband just go. Because I do not want any drama with Savannah, with my mom, or my sister. Savannah hasn't ever been with no one alone, ever. And I don't want to be rushed, rushed to come back home right away. You know, I don't want anything happening. I don't want mom to give her juice or something, or water. My mom, or give her food and make her choke and not watch her. I don't know. I just had problems with my other kids, like my mom would give them stuff that I did not want them to have, so yeah, or she'll give them like a hundred butt changes, and it's like, come on, he had to like waste 20 diapers when I was gone for two hours, so yeah, um, so, yeah, but, you know, since I'm so short, I want to take the kids, but it's like, honestly, rides are like six tickets, and it's a dollar. So, for two rides, for, for one ride for the kids to both go on, that is $12. That's 12 tickets for one ride. So, I'm thinking, realistically, I don't want to spend more than 100 bucks. Seriously, not more. Um, for me and my husband to go in, it's $24. $24. If we pay for parking, it's going to be an extra $10. So, that's already $34 just to get in. Plus, if we bring the kids... Um, Owen will get in free, because we're going to say he's four. We're going to lie, whatever. <laughs> and my daughter, I think she's like $8. I'm not even sure. So, yeah, 20, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42. So, $42 just to get in. So, yeah, $12 for a freaking, you know, that's just crazy. That's going to, you know, so they can't go on more than one ride. More, not more than two for sure. Two is like the maximum. And that just, it's going to suck, you know. I want to show them the animals though. Um, but if basically we only could go one more time this year, that's all we could afford. So we've been spending way too much money lately. Way too much. Um, so yeah, if we've been eating chilies a lot, and that's, that's not good. And that's like $34 every time. So that, that's horrible. We've been having a bad week with financial things. I've been buying the kids stuff. Yeah, I've been spending way too much money. It's unrealistic. So, um, I don't know what I should do. They've been to the fair. They went on quite a few rides when we went. We won them some things. And if me and my husband just go, we're going to definitely play games and win them and win them stuff. So, I don't know. But we're going to, I mean, I just don't know. It's not going to be fair, because we're going to bring Savannah, um, but you know, just having that, it's like a date, you know, even if we bring Savannah, it's just a baby, I just want to spend a long time with my husband, I never get to do that, and I'm thinking, is that really selfish, that I want to just be with my husband, I'll just feel so guilty if I go with just my husband, because I'm thinking, the kids didn't get to do enough things, they didn't get to see enough things, because we didn't go early enough, so yeah, I wish I can go two more times, but like I said, it's going to be done on Sunday, so I'll have to go today and then tomorrow, you know? It's just, I can't afford to go two times. It's just going to be way too much. It's going to be like $200 at least. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, Savannah crawled the first time on... July 18th, so 11 days ago. She's been crawling like a champ ever since. Um, she's trying to pull herself up now. She knows how, to, we just taught her how to do high fives, so that's cool. Um, 
she knows how to say mama, and she says dada a little bit, like she's learning how to do that, but she knows mama. And she always says wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> My husband's like, she's French, she knows how to say wee oui, wee. Oui. Um, I'm pushing my husband to teach her Swiss because she is at a stage where she is learning things like weed. So, you know, I want to teach her some sign language, but I really want her to learn Swiss. Um, what else could that little butt do? She's just a really happy baby. Um, she's not doing a lot of things. She's so smart. I don't, I don't even know where to start, really. I had to do a whole other update on her. Um, she just came so big. Her hair is growing so much. She's just so, so cute. It's like a dark, dirty blonde. I have people ask what color her hair is. It's a, it's a blonde. It's a very dark blonde. Um, but I see it in the sun. She has blonde tints to her hair. And my mom's trying to drive me crazy and say that she sees red, reddish tints in her hair. There is no way that child has red hair. No way. She has blonde, dark, dark blonde hair. Um, my mom keeps saying too, it's so weird to see you with a dark had a baby. It's like their hair is blondish. Oh, my brother came over the other day and he is in love with Savannah. It's like his second or third time seeing her. I know it's so sad. But he brought her over a crib mattress. Um, nice. Two of them and they're nice. So it's so nice of him. And he bought the kids clothes. Not her, but the kids. I think he wanted to be fair and get them all a little something. But he has no kids. He's I think he's 29, I'm not sure, um, and he just loves Savannah, they, she just took a liking to him, she was, I got on tape, she was scared of my mom last week when she came over, and she, she saw my mom a couple times, you know, more than my brother for sure, um, she barely ever sees my brother, like I said, probably two times, two or three times she saw him, um, maybe four times, yeah, but, um, yeah, she, she, uh, totally, like, just wanted him, like, my sister had her and stuff, and she was crying for my brother, and she just laughing and smiling at him, she just loved him so much, and my brother took a couple pictures of her, and it's just so sweet, it's just so sweet, um, my sister and stuff doesn't really like me taking the photos, you know, I can't have any photos of her with Savannah, like, she is kind of, I don't know, but her, I guess, um, very picky with it, but my brother, he didn't mind at all, um, but my sister wants to take pictures of me with her camera, and that's okay, but I can't have any photos, she, my sister is very weird with photos, I don't know, she never gives me none, and just, whatever, um, um, yeah, recently I have been doing really bad with my back and my tailbone, it's been hell, um, but I'm okay right now, because I went to the doctors, and they gave me some medicine, so, it helps, but I don't know. I didn't used to medicine. It makes me feel weird. Um, makes me feel tired. I don't like that. But yeah, um, let's see what else? But it makes me be able to walk. I'm actually able to go to the fair. It's so nice. God, it's just so nice not having to worry about having a spasm and hurting so badly. Um, let's see what else? There's just so much. This video is probably like a hundred years long, old, <laughs> long, um, on Savannah's nine month birthday, which was last Friday, we got her this little, um, dance tower set thingy, it is so cute, and she loves it, I never ever usually get her nothing for her, like, month birthdays, but, um, yeah, I had to, it was just, I don't know, nine months is big, and it's only three months until she's one, that is crazy, three months ago, she was six months, and I remember that, like, nothing. It's just so crazy. I can't believe she's going to be one. For her first birthday, I want to have like a dance party. Because she likes when I, I made up a song for her. Shake that booty, shake it. Come on, girl. Break it down, girl. She loves that song. She is so into it. And I want to record it somehow and then have it playing on her first birthday. And just have like a little dance party. Like, it's going to be around Halloween time. So, um, I was thinking... Of, um, it's probably going to be very easy to find black um, uh, tablecloth, you know, for, for Halloween parties. But also about having that kind of material, like, you know, like a uh, uh, tablecloth, you know, material, like reusable kind. Um, not reuse, no, disposable kind. 
and putting it on the wall. So having a, a black black walls in her house and like I don't know, having like glitter I don't know, like glow in the dark or glittery kind of stars or something like a dance party, like a disco light, you know? Um, and just having it music y, I don't know, like, you know, playing music. She's really into it. And if she's walking by the time she's one, I could picture her being all wobbly and shaking her booty. It would just be the cutest little thing. I don't know. I just want it to be... I was thinking about getting, like, a bouncy house, too. And, you know, like, having the song play outside. I don't know. I just want it to be fun and, and, you know, upbeat, you know, having it be fun for her. My other two kids, their first birthday sucked. And I, and I didn't... Uh, it makes me want to cry. I don't even have, I don't think my daughter's pictures of her first birthday. Uh, I hope my sister does. It makes me want to cry. I ain't very teary-eyed. I, I didn't take a lot of pictures of my kids. Um, I don't know why, but it really makes me want to cry. I really get emotional because they deserve having that. And I just want it, I'm already doing it so much better for Savannah. Taking lots of video and uh, pictures of her. I just want her first birthday to be good. And I hope to God my husband still has his job. It looks like he will for sure, but things happen. I just hope everything's going to be good for her first birthday. I want to have money. I want to, you know, have it good for her. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, I try to get lots of video of my kids now and lots of pictures of them. But I believe, yeah, I don't want to talk about it, but I think we threw away, when we moved to Indianapolis, we got rid of lots of things in our duplex that we had. Like, we threw away so much stuff, we just left things there, and I think we might have left the computer that had all the photos of my daughter and my son as babies. So, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, it it's just traumatizing, really, so... So yeah, anyways, um, that's really about it. I've been getting very depressed at night, I don't know why, just very, man, I think I'm very lonely, like, sorry, it sounds like I want to cry, I just keep thinking about my, my kids' pictures, it just makes me so sad. Hmm. But anyways, um, yeah, I get, I get very depressed and lonely at night, I think it's just... Oh yeah, I'm talking about my friend. Ah, oh, it's a whole other video. But my friend is like mentally messing with my brain. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, she always tells me she's gonna come over. I think I talked about it. She almost gave me like this oil cream for my back. Um, so yeah, she hasn't done that. Um, she was supposed to bring me over more. And she keeps telling me, I will, I will. But, um, she called me. She went out last weekend, I believe it was, and, um, to, she left her kids with her, her mom and her grandma and her family, and she kind of, like, abandoned her kids and stuff, and went out to a creek with some guys and a couple of girlfriends, and, um, well, anyway, she was up there for, like, two days, and she told me she was gonna come by my house before she went up there, whatever, she didn't, of course she didn't, um, it's been almost a month she's, since she's been promising me this. So, she's been messing with me for a very long time. Granted, she did come over one time and gave me a little bit, but that was it. Um, her grandma and her mom make it. I don't really know what it is, but it helped for the most part. Anyways, um, she called me on, I believe it was Sunday. No, it was Saturday. And um, she told me she was out of gas, and but she was up by her house. She lives about 30 minutes away from me. And um, she was... She was saying that she was on the freeway, and the back streets to her house would take too long, and she would run out of gas. But she could still drive to my house, which is 30 minutes away, at least. Um, so, yeah, she um, asked me for some money, 40 to $60. And I'm like, why so much? You know, I'm like, why can't you make it home? Why can't your mom help you? And she's, like, saying that she had her friend from Arkansas or whatever, trying to Western Union her some money to get home. I'm like, seriously? And she's gonna have to drive to Walmart and get it if he does it. I'm like, Walmart? I'm like, Walmart's far too. I didn't understand it. I'm not stupid. Um, if she can drive all the way down to me, she sure as hell can take a couple back streets home. Uh, it made no sense. Plus, she told me before, because I had to pay her $20 in gas, 
when she came out to me for the oil. Yeah, what a friend, you know. But I'm like, whatever, she's driving out to me. We were having heart tr troubles at the time, so I said, okay. Um, so I know $20 gets her home. Uh, but she's saying she's so low on gas, she needs 40 to $60. Uh, I'm sorry, we just drove an hour away out of town, and we put 40 bucks in our car, and still had a shitload, sorry for my language, of gas in our car. We're still, we're still using that gas from two days ago. So it's unbelievable what she's saying to me. So I didn't believe her anyways, and I almost didn't do it, but she promised me that she'd pay me back in a couple of days. And I told her, you have to do it. So I loaned her 40 bucks. I said, I want something in return to make sure you're going to come back and give me the money. She gave me her credit card, guys, her credit card. And, um, yeah, so obviously it's almost been a week ago, and I have not gotten the money from her. Oh, she told me that she would um, maybe come out the next day. She might get the money from her. She has to do some shopping, so she'll be out in my area, and she's going to try to get the money for her family. Oh, and by the way, when she came over, um, she had a really bad sunburn, so I gave her some sunburn cream and a Pepsi. And, um, yeah, so I was really good to her, and she got to see Savannah for the first time. Anyways, um, so yeah, so she said maybe that night she would come out and give me the money if her grandma gives it to her. Of course, all night long, she's telling me, I haven't asked my grandma yet, you know, I want to ask her at a good time. So until 2 o'clock in the morning, she keeps me up and um, keeps me waiting for her. I did not hear from her no more, so I went to bed. And um, the next day, I was texting her. She's saying that she was in town. And all of a sudden, she has enough money to go to Costco. What the hell is that about? You know, that's weird. Uh, she says that she, she had the money, and she's going to bring it to me. And she's not going to burn me. I waited all day long. She tells me at 11.53 that she's going to come out and that she's on the freeway. I literally drop everything I'm doing. I'm like, okay, because we were not home at that time. We're at the store. We're at Walmart. So I rushed home to make sure I was there for her. I text her at hour one by. I knew she wasn't coming. I was so angry. I left her some voice messages. Oh, she texted me saying that her phone's messed up uh, the next day and that she didn't get my messages and she was at my house at 3 a.m. And she didn't knock on my door because my neighborhood's supposedly ghetto. It's, it's not. Um, she lives out in the Goonies, not around anybody, so she thinks people are ghetto, I guess. But yeah, my, my neighborhood's not ghetto. Um, so yeah, it's a normal neighborhood, whatever. So she didn't want to come out at 3 a.m., Funny thing was, uh, I was waiting for her. I did not want her to say the same thing that she was telling me, that she came over. Oh, but her tire popped. So after getting a donut on, you know, it took her that long to come out my house at 3 a.m. Um, I told her that I was out watching a movie on the couch waiting for her, which I was. And my screen door was, um, my front door was open and my screen door was shut so I can see out of there. She did not come by. She told me that she came by. Why wouldn't... She was, uh, she was trying to text me and call me, but her phone... She couldn't get a hold of me, and her phone was broken. Whatever. But the next day, her phone was working fine. Wait, no. She says that her she was using her mom's phone. The excuses that she comes up with. Uh, yeah, so I told her, you know, you're lying to me. She says, no, no. I'm like, yes, you are, because you did not come over. Did not see your car. Whatever. If I told her, if you were... If you did come over... You would have saw my front door open. You would have saw, and you would have saw the lights on. So, yeah. I mean, my front porch light was on and everything. There's no way. There's no way. So, she lied. Uh, and then, you know, since that's been since Sunday, she keeps lying, a lying, a lying, making excuses. And, you know, she's already planning her next trip and stuff. And it's like, you know what? You have the freaking money. You're not giving me the money. You're going to burn me. I'm like, just admit it. You're going to burn me. Um... So yeah, she's just, she's, just, well then yesterday, no, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, the 27th, she told me that she was getting tires, her tires popped, and her grandma was gonna, was getting her new ones, and she told me that she's gonna be on her way after that. She calls me, tells me this, I'm like, uh-huh, whatever. 
basically, no, I'll believe it when I see it kind of thing. Uh, yeah, well, no, she didn't. But she does text me a picture at 11, eight, at 11 p.m. of a pregnancy test that she found from when she was pregnant with her daughter. And I, so I text her, and I'm like, you didn't come over? Are you going to come over still? She's like, oh, I just got home. And that's what she said. She just got home. No, you know, so then to yesterday, which is kind of like today to me still, uh, she said that um, her brakes blew out, so she's in another city that's like another hour away from where she lives, and uh, her, I'm like, whatever, I'm like, drop the act, you're lying. She says, I'm not no freaking liar. She called, you know, she gave me the name of the place where her car is at. I'm like, why are you at that place? And she's no. I'm like, well, you know, like, they're going to really, whatever. It could be her friend or whatever, you know, that works there. We all know she knows hella people, so. Because my van is there. Go see. And I'm like, oh, yeah, your van's there. I'm like, so I could pick you up and you can, you know, give me the money or whatever. She's, oh, that's impossible. And then she tells me she's not going to be home till Sunday. And I'm like, oh, that's convenient, you know, till Sunday. So I, you want me to wait till Sunday? And I said, how long do you want me to wait for you, man? That's her name, Mandy. I'm like, how long do you want me to wait for you? You know, it's like, she never got back to me on that. Uh, yeah. But that oil cream, she was supposed to give that to me for I can go to the fair because, I, you know, I need to be able to walk and stuff. And I told her, you know, the fair is going to end on 31st. And, um, yeah. And she's like, no, it's going to go till September. I'm like, no, it's not. It's till July 31st. So, yeah, I'm like, thanks. You know, she's been telling me ever since the fair opened before the fair opened, that she was going to give that to me and stuff, and I'd be able to go to the fair. Well, you know, if I, on a, if Sunday's really the thing, then I would really be missing the fair. You know, if I would have just waited for her, I would have missed the fair, so. Oh, so much drama. It's so much drama. And then she shut me off at her Facebook, and I got hella mad. I'm like, oh, so you are going to burn me. So then she adds me back, so. Yeah, anyways, how do you deal, she's just a, a freaking liar, she lies about everything, I can't hear so many lies, not just this, lies about her life, everything, her friends have told me that she lies, like, why do people lie like that so much, like, what is wrong with people that lie like that, it's like, is it a mental illness, I mean, I really want to know, it just gets me so angry. I don't lie, you know, I hate to lie, and if I lie, it has to be, like, to cover somebody's butt or something. It has to be for a very important reason, you know, or if I lie, it's probably because I don't even know if I'm lying, you know, like, it, it's probably, like, an accident or something, like, I usually do not lie, and, you know, I would never, if I could, if, if I needed the money, I want to say what the money's really for, because we all know it wasn't for gas, because it's all her gauge, and she tried to show me her gauge, her gas gauge, when her car wasn't on. I'm not stupid. Of course your gas gauge is going to be low. Because that's, you know, for people that are trying to steal your gas to make them think you have no gas, you know. And that's what my husband told me at least. Um, but yeah, so I told her to turn the car on. She had a quarter gas. It's like, whatever, yeah, you're kind of low, but you still have gas. You for sure would have, if she still has gas coming all the way out to me, she would have had way more gas, which is way up there by her house. So I knew she was lying to me. I don't know. I, you know, I told her, I'm a good friend of you. Why would you? She told me to. I'm not going to burn my bridges. But she did. Like, why? Why did she come to me and want to burn me? I was a good friend to her and everything. Like, I don't understand why she would want to mess it up. She just took me for granted. She knew that I was nice. She knew that she could get it out of me. So she used me. I'm no one important to her, I guess. And she thought, I'll, you know, our friendship was worth 40 bucks. You know, she's not the first friend that has used me and that has promised to pay me back. I, you know, I haven't helped people like this. I haven't helped a friend like this out in a long time. I help out in other ways to give them things or whatever. I'm a very giving person, very giving. I just hate it. You know, it wouldn't even if she would have, you know, honestly, honestly, I'll be honest. If she would have went through with it the day where she told me she was going to come and pay me back, and if she were to come out really and give me and hand me over the money, I would have probably told her no to keep it. I just wanted to know if she was going to pay me back. And that's honestly kind of why I loaned her the money, because I wanted to see if she was going to pay me back. I wanted to know if she was a loyal friend, and that's the way to know if your friends are loyal. If you help them out one time 
and if they really pay you back or come through for you, then they're a good friend. But if they're going to straight up burn you, you know, then you know they're not even worth being their friend with any. It's kind of like a, a trial test. If they're going to burn you over it, don't be their friend no more. And it's just like, it's not, it's less of a waste of time. You know, I find out now early on in a friendship, even though I know her for, even though I almost known her for two years, I've only known her in person three times and, you know, short meetups. So, you know, it's nice to know that she's not a true friend now than to waste many years on her. And then she asks me for money two years down the line and I do it. And then she doesn't pay me back. This way I know. And, you know, it's like, how long, you guys tell me, how long should I wait for her to pay me back? Like, should I even wait any longer? My husband's like, you know what, be done with her. Um, but I want my money back. I, now, now I want my money back. You know, I want the money back and I don't want to see her ever again. Kind of thing, you know. Because she's on her Facebook is all making plans, like, to go out, out of town and stuff. And she's been out of town. It's just a crock of BS. I hate it. I hate it. Ugh. I feel so dumb, but, you know, like I said, I really did want to see if she's going to pay me back. So, it took $40 to find that out, which sucks. She was really trying to get 60 out of me. It's like, I'm not that stupid. Excuse me. I'm definitely letting her know that what, she, what, what I feel like she is. I tell her she burned me and told her I knew from the get-go it wasn't for gas because I saw her gas gauge. I'm letting it all out, all my feelings out. So, yeah. Um... I can't believe she's still saying she's not a liar. It's like, yeah, I'm not dumb. Yeah, you want to, by saying that you're not a liar, is calling me dumb. Because we all know you're lying, and I'm not freaking brain dead. I have a couple brain cells left. <laughs> but yeah, people peg me as stupid. I'll tell you why. Because, okay, I don't got the greatest spelling in the world. I'll be honest. Um, I'm not going to lie. You know, I didn't finish school, but I am street smart, and I am sure not dumb. I know when someone's trying to do me over on something. Um, I have a brain. Just because I'm not a spill that great doesn't mean I talk like that. I don't talk like how I spill. I'll just put it that way. Um, you know. So, yeah. Just because someone doesn't know how to spill that, like an A plus or whatever, doesn't mean that they're stupid. Um, so, yeah. I, I, do, I do have intelligence. So, anyways. Um. Yeah, it's just amazing how people throw away good friendships over crap. You know, it's just, I don't know what she needed that money for. And I don't know why she's not paying me back. But only she knew me enough to know that I would have not even taken that money from her. She would have been honest from step one, you know, from the get-go. Yeah, but anyways, she has two babies. She has a two-year-old and a three-month-old. Just a little girl and a little boy. And yeah, I don't want to talk crap about her, but she dates guys like, she goes through guys like candy and it's crazy. Like one minute, it's just so hard to keep up with her with everything, but it all could be a lie too, you know, but I can't believe she abandoned her kids to go up to the lake or to the creek or whatever it was out of town. And, and she was calling me when she was up there too. For a second, because she was supposed to come out over to me, and she was saying, you know, how her she's going through crap with her family because she left her kids there, and her family should understand that she's 22 years old and she needs to be 22. And I told her, you know what? No, you give up being young when you have kids. You can't be 22 anymore if you have two babies at home. You can't count. You can't expect or count on anybody else but yourself to take care of those babies. Not even their dad. You're their mother. You should not leave your kids with other people because it's not their responsibility. And that's how I feel. You should get, you know, if you wanted to go out and if your mom said, yeah, sure, go, then that's that's okay. But you cannot just leave your kids and tell your mom, hey, I'll be back in half an hour and not come back for two days. That's wrong. And, I, you know, if anyone on here does that, you know, it's wrong. It's truly wrong. You know, I would never do that. I'm already, like, not wanting to let my mom watch Savannah for, like, five hours to go to her. Uh... I just can't do it, so I'm going to end up bringing her if we go. So, and I don't even want to, I don't, I'm already feeling so guilty not bringing my kids again to the fair. I feel like crap, and it's going to make me probably cry, so, yeah. I have grown up so much, and I don't even know what age I should, 
mentally, my age category is probably like 35. Honestly, like, I'm not young. I, I'm not young at all. I don't think of myself. I don't, I feel so guilty when I think of myself. Like, if I buy a new shirt, I feel so bad. Like, I feel like that money could go towards my kids. <sighs> yeah. The only thing I get is my big gulp. And I don't even finish it. And that's all I get. Um, I'm just grateful for the small things in life. But Anyways, this video is probably super long. And if you have watched it all, thank you. And I'm sorry if I bored you to death. But I haven't updated it in forever. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed and get a couple hours sleep before Savannah wakes up. Um, I know I go to bed late, but this is my only... Savannah just went to sleep when I did this video. And uh, when I started this video, and oh man, I need a minute to myself. And if that means I have to stay up like an hour or two after she goes to sleep, even if it's like dawn or morning outside, then hey, I'm gonna have to do that. But I don't need a lot of sleep. I get up when she gets up. Um, so yeah, and my kids sleep in late too. My daughter's definitely enjoying it. And my son, before they start school, my son's gonna start school this year this year so it's very exciting hopefully he stops peeing and pooping himself enough to go to school um but i think i'm going to change my daughter's school because the school that she's at it drives me crazy the parking situation so yeah um but it will be the last that's what that's what the psychic said too that um my kids schooling is very important to me and i don't want them to um, go through what I went through different schools and stuff like that so maybe that's where she got the school thing from that school is important to me school is important to me it's just my kids school um, and I don't know if I'm gonna go back to school or what I wanna be a photographer but I don't think they make a lot of money if anyone knows anything on that let me, let me know but I have a passion to take pictures I love it so photography is my, definitely my passion so anyways you guys I think that's about it and I'll talk to y'all hopefully later. So yeah, um, pray that my friend comes through and pays me back because, you know, $40 is a lot. And um, especially when she's ungrateful too. So anyways, um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.